Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today video is on React.js CRUD example by adding state management with the help of JSTAND library. So what is JSTAND? JSTAND is a state management library. The JSTAND is a small, fast and scalable state management library. Okay, small means there is no overloaded boilerplate code like we see in Red X. Okay, it is very simple and easily used. So it is straightforward to use and integrate some of its features. Okay, it contains hooks API and it is very easy to consume in React application. Okay, so the stand state man store itself, uh, we can consume like a hook. Okay. And it is very easy to use in our React components. Okay, it supports for async methods. So inside of this stand store, we can write async methods. So where we can implement our API calls. Okay, easily integrate with additional middleways like Emmer and DevTools. So it it is also supports a lot of third party uh, libraries like. Immer and DevTools, etc. So Immer is for updating the state of the store very easily. Okay. And DevTools is to track the state changes in our browser. Okay. Like those libraries, it supports. State can be accessed outside of the React components. Okay. So the, this this stand store state can be accessed within our Vanilla JavaScript code also, okay? Easily integrate with other state management library like Redux and React context APIs, okay? You can integrate, means you can mix up this just and store state management with the existing uh, state management so that later on you can upgrade your entire application to this just and store management, okay? So to accomplish a Create example application. Let's start by creating the React JS application. And we know very well the command for creating the React application that is npx space create iPhone React iPhone app. Okay, and then space name of your project. So let's create the React application. Project created successfully. Let's open the project. Here is our react project now as a first step. Let's install the react bootstrap Into our application so that I can use UI components into my application. So go to react bootstrap website Click on the get started and Here we can find the command for installation. So copy that command and open the terminal Install the package. So package installed successfully. Now the thing we have to do. Let's go to index.js file. Okay. And here let me add the bootstrap reference. Okay. And let me remove some unwanted code for my demo, like report web vitals. And here also the method. And I will remove React strict mode element also. Okay. Finally, our index index.js looks like this. Okay, now I will create a react component and I will name it like layout. The main idea of this layout, it will have menu and footer, something that like a master template. Okay, for that, let's create a folder inside of the SRC like components. And inside of it, I will create one more folder like shield. 
and inside of this shared folder let me create my layout component so as i mentioned let's add the menu in this layout component since we are ready to use the react bootstrap component so go to react bootstrap website and pick a navbar component from there so here you can click on components and search for the navbar and here there are lot of example and you can pick one of them for our application so i am going to pick this navbar and let add it inside of this imaginary tags okay for my menu i don't have any navigation menu link so i am going to remove this nav element and here remove the href and i want to use this navbar brand uh, since in this demo i am dealing like creating or displaying the cakes okay like a something like a cake website okay so i will brand my website like cake store so this navbar brand nothing but it represent like a logo or something like a heading for our menu okay so now whatever the page content has to be rendered i want to run i want to display this menu in that pages okay since i want to use it like a master template here i have to create a placeholder in that placeholder i have to display all of my page content whenever i navigate so for that first let me add a bootstrap component like container okay and i want to i am expecting any page content must be rendered inside of this container for that i can use children property okay so i am going to destructure the property like this and i will write like children this is called destructuring originally we will input props right so here i am restructuring my prop so here i am reading the children property and here use the expression and try to render the children so the main idea is whatever the page is loaded that play, page will be received as a children component here okay now i can go to the app component which is the entry component for the react application so here let me get rid of the existing html code okay and here i want to render my layout since layout is my master theme so here i can render the layout element okay so here whatever content i will add that will be received as a children and that will be rendered into this container okay that is the main idea of defining the children props now let me create a home page for my sample application okay so that is like a page level component so i am not going to add the those page level components in this folder so for the page level components let me create one more folder like pages okay here i want to create a component now for a home page okay so i will name this component like all cakes the basic idea of this component to display the all the items like a small small cards okay so let me add component like all cake dot js so i have a page component right now i have to add route for this for that we have to install the react routing library like react router dom search it like react router dom npm and here is the link for npm so go to that website and here is the installation command copy the command and open the terminal 
install the package. Package installed successfully. Now we are ready to configure our routing for all cakes component. So for that, let me go to app component. So any route content, I have to add it as a layout element child, right? So inside of the layout, I can add routes element. Okay, that loads from the React router DOM. Okay, inside of this routes element, I can add individual route. Okay. So to this, we can define the path as one of the attribute. So mine is the home path, right? So and here we have to configure or map our component to this path for that I can use another element like attribute like element. So to this element I have to map my component. Okay. All cakes and self closing tab. And we have to do one more additional route configuration that is go to index.js. And here our app component must be wrapped around browser router element that loads from the react router DOM library. Okay. Browser router element. So let's move our app component inside of those elements. Let's add some message to our all cakes. Okay. And let's run our application and test whether we are able to see our page component loading for the home route or not. And here you can observe I am missing some namespaces that regards to my navbar component. Okay, so let me go to the layout page. Okay, and here let me import the navbar component. And I want to remove this inside container. Inside of the navbar, there is a container, right? So why I am removing means I want full length navbar. So I am removing the container. If you use container, you can see some spacing at both the edges of the menu. So I don't want that. I want the full length menu. So I removed the container. So now our page is loading and you can see our menu and you can see the hello message that represents our landing page. Our home page route. Loading its component like all cakes, right? So up to now we did general react JS stuff. Now let's. Move on to our tour related things. So first thing is we have to install the just stand library. So search like just stand and you can see the grid hub link. So go there. And you can. See here command to install the just stand and there are a lot of basic. Documentation here you can read them as well. For your understanding. Okay. So the first step I have to install the test and so copy that command. So open the terminal. Install the package. So just and library installed successfully. Now let's try to create the store for maintaining our data. So first thing, let me create a folder. Inside of the SRC something like store. Inside of it, I want to create my future. Store something like about cakes, so I will name it like. Cake store.js. So here let's implement the store. Okay. So export constant use cake store. Okay. And now we have to use a function like create 
so that loads from the test stand okay let me import the namespace from create from test stand okay so this is the store creating function okay now here i can input an arrow function that returns the state information okay and to this arrow function you can use something like set a variable this set variable use used whenever we want to update the state properties okay now in this state object i am going to create a, a one property like take data okay so initially its value is empty okay now for our demo purpose let me add some static content in this array and let's try to bind that or load that data into our all cake okay something like read operation with the static content so let me add some static data here okay this is my something like a tested data so my card cake data is a array and that array contains objects something like properties it will have id name cost and image url okay so in my store i have some data instead of the cake data now i want to read this data into my all cakes component and i want to render it on my ui so the first thing is we have to read the data from the store i have already mentioned the stand is built up of the hooks api right so i can use this use cake store as a hook okay so that i can listen for changes or i can read the changes everything i can do with this use cake store okay so use cake store and the thing is first what i am for what i am declared this variable i declared this hook to read the data from this cake data for that we have to input the arrow function and we have to specify what type of data you are expecting from this use car store so for that state state dot and name of our store property okay since i am expecting car data right we have to write it like this so this is something like a action invocation if you want to compare or something like a getter if you want to compare with the normal redex kind of state management okay so i will assign this data to something like constant all cakes so i am expecting it should return the array of cakes okay so i want to render it to my html so for the display purpose i want to use the react bootstrap cards so let's go to react bootstrap website and go for cards and let me go to the bottom okay this is the example i want to add so copy this html elements okay before adding that let me add a container here bootstrap container okay and class name margin top two units and instead of this container let me add my bootstrap cards so here we have arrow column card so let import these namespaces here okay odd row 
column okay and here there is some static array let me remove the static array and i can pass my all cakes variable that listening for the use cake store hook okay and here i will name it like cake and we can add a key attribute for column to avoid the compilation issue of the react js okay i will assign the cake dot id value to it and here let me style little bit for image okay object object i want to add the height from 400 pixels and width 100 percent okay so here let's remove the src existing string and let's add our expression and bind the image url property so i am expecting i am going to get this object and i'm using these properties here to bind okay and name of the card so cake dot name and here let me show the price okay cake dot what is the property cost okay cost that's it and let me display three columns and i think we are good let's check whether we are able to fetch the data from our store and bind it to our ui or not see how beautiful it is and the content is rendering that represents i am able to read the data from the store using the just stand library okay and as a developer we know how to track the state changes we know we have a browser extension like redux okay so we know for redux our redux toolkit this redux will automatically works same way just and also supports this tool okay for now if you check anything here everything is empty because we haven't integrated the dev tools here okay so but just and also supports the dev tool so let's integrate the dev tool and check the track of our state management so let me go to my car store okay and now i have to enable the dev tool for it so it is very easy let me import the dev tool okay from just and slash middleware slash dev tools okay and import dev tools now wrap this entire arrow function with my dev tools okay so dev tools okay and save it inside of the dev tools right so i can remove this okay and save it okay now if i go to my redux extension and here you got something initial and if you check like state you can see the object so our just end supports the redux dev tool browser extension as well okay so next we are work on how to invoke the api and save that api response data into our just end store and then retrieve that data from store to our react component all these things we are going to work okay thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the video please make sure to like it and subscribe the channel to support me soon we are going to meet with new video until then
signing off thank you